Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Muhammad, and this is Star and Crescent Backyard Garden. I'm here today to talk to you. This is spring 2010. We are so excited that you have decided to look at this great video on gardening. And today we hope to share with you some very, very special footage. Well, we've decided this year we're going raised bed. That's right. Last year we did rows. And as you can see over to my, my left, well, we're doing rows no more. Well, actually, we are going to do a row. In fact, I'm going to talk to you today about getting ready for doing a row of at least okra. But right now, let's focus on our new garden, our raised bed garden. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? Now, let me walk you through what we've done. Actually, this design is by one of my neighbors. His name is Mr. Paul. He is now a member of our Community Food Network, Backyard and Community Gardens Network, along with several of my other uh, neighbors as well. And I'll have some photos, of course, in this particular video that you'll see of their gardens as well. I haven't quite gotten the video footage down yet for you, but we'll get back to that later. Okay, so here is our garden. This is what we have. We have tomatoes. We have some Creole tomatoes. These Creole tomato plants, they're gonna get very big. And right now I have a stick here and I'm gonna get some string later and actually tie this plant to the stick but we have cages on these Creole tomatoes. And here's another Creole tomato plant. And here we have actually small cherry tomatoes. And if you get really close here, you'll see that this is one of those small cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna pick this one for you to see it because it's ripe. And we can just eat that, but I'm not going to eat it right now. And as you can see right here, I have some marigolds. These are African marigolds. And of course, some of my friends in gardening, master gardeners told me that marigolds are great for companion planting next to tomatoes because they actually help to keep bugs out of your garden. And so, of course, we want to keep bugs out to the extent that they're damaging to our plants. So I planted some marigolds next to my tomatoes. Now on this side, you'll see that we actually have bell pepper. And the bell pepper is coming along really well. The thing with bell pepper that you want to be careful of and with all of your plants in your garden is not watering too much. And so our bell peppers are coming along really nice. They're growing. They're beautiful. And this is basil. And if you just touch the leaves of basil, it smells really good. And we can start cooking with this and everything. It's really time to harvest some of that. So we'll harvest. Well, let me just tell you first that this garden we actually planted, I would say, about three weeks ago, the second weekend of April. We wanted to go ahead and plant because, as you know, we're in Louisiana and we're pretty much a all around planting season here. And so what we decided to do was do a raised bed. And so one of my neighbors, who's a landscape artist, as I told you, Mr. Paul, actually designed my bed for me. I told him what I wanted it to look like and actually his bed is even to me more beautiful because he has uh, rocks within the center of his garden. He has a bigger walkway and mine is somewhat small. So you can do yours like this as well. There's a certain kind of mulch that we have here. It's not cypress, it's not redwood, it's real wood mulch so that it actually breaks down easier. The thing that you have to be careful about in a raised bed garden is making sure that um, you use the right kind of mulch. Of course, we have dirt and soil mixed in with this uh, so that it, it actually facilitates the plant's growth. Uh, but as you can see, they're growing very well because we planted three weeks ago and some of my plants are very small. The other thing that you have to be careful of with using the raised bed garden, in particular with this type of mulch, is not overwatering your garden because this holds a lot of moisture. And so as you can see, this is pretty moist right here. It's, 
if you go down far enough it's still pretty moist so we really don't have to do a whole lot of gardening in this uh, type of setting so you really want to talk with your local ag expert master gardener county agent to make sure that you get all of the uh, right ideas about how to do this and talk to people who are in landscaping because they definitely know what makes plants grow and right here of course we have our pepper plant and it's grown tremendously if I could I, I took a few pictures to kind of show you what it looked like before and now this is absolutely beautiful how well it has grown and I really love backyard gardening because it's easier it's for you it's for your family it's for your friends because just from this basil plant from these bell pepper plants these tomato plants we're going to produce i would say probably up to about 300 pounds of food from this garden that's a lot of food for me and my family we certainly won't be able to eat it all so we'll be sharing with some of our neighbors now as you can see i have some onion chives here and onion chives are supposed to be one of those types of plants that are companion planted to help with bugs and other uh, little critters as well that you don't want in your garden. We have some lettuce here and of course we planted it a little late um, but the lettuce is really uh, really good right now. I've been picking some. It's kind of thinned out. I've thinned it out and I've been eating it in my salad. I've mixed it with some other greens and it's really really good. And then of course uh, we have a couple of more of these little cherry tomato plants here and some onions onion tops and it may be a little late for those i think my master gardener mr ron nichols told me that i may want to take those out and maybe transplant them somewhere else in my yard and then put them back in my garden for maybe in the fall sometime and there are some things that you plant in the fall and some things you plant in the in the spring and this is spring of course now let's look at my cucumbers as you can see I have a trellis in the back and I like my garden to be decorative so I have lights all around my garden I have uh, these are solar lights and as you can see here here's the solar panel and the solar panel gets sun and then at nighttime this lights up so at nighttime I get to come out here and sit and look at my garden and enjoy it etc and as you can see these cucumber plants are just growing tremendously I mean they are absolutely huge I actually have a cucumber I I have several of them I picked that one up off the ground because it was on the ground this one I haven't been able to get it up off the ground here just yet but I'm gonna figure something out because I see a little critter down here is trying to get cozy and comfy with it and I don't want that so I'm gonna move it and just lay it right there on the wood but as you can see I mean we have great cucumbers coming forth here that are really growing and it's important to spray your leaves with some type of uh, um, uh, what they call spray that will eliminate some of the problems and, and, and you can use uh, you can go get some regular dish water you can um, use dish water and and cayenne pepper to spray on the leaves and you know you can do this at pretty much any time of the day and that'll help with some of the bugs as well and it doesn't hurt your plants so this is our garden and I just want my my great uh, person who's helping me my assistant to step back and let you get a great view of my garden this year and uh, like I said later on I'll have some additional footage to show you how I'm gonna plant my okra actually in one of the rows because while I'm not going to put everything in the rows this year because the rows just got really messy for me uh, I am going to plant at least a row of okra and and I really wanted you to see this so hey guess what this is Star and Crescent Backyard Garden and I'm Dr. Tony Muhammad signing off <laughs>